Hello everyone, my name is Frostcloud, I'm at Mr. Chaos the Cunning Wolf channel. And today I will be reacting to MLP Season 8, Episode 20, The Washouts. Now, via various screenshots from this episode, I have learned that apparently Lightning Dust is supposed to be returning. And if I recall the last episode she first appeared in... Uh, <laughs> I can only imagine what she has in store for the revenge for what happened to her. Maybe she's not even seeking revenge. Like, I don't even know. Like, obviously I haven't even started watching this episode on camera right now, so... Yeah, but I mean, somewhat exciting, I guess. I mean, Lightning Dust isn't exactly amongst the characters I was really hoping to see return, but... Well, this is interesting that she returned just now, but let's see what her deal is. So, without further ado, let's get started. I hereby call <laughs> That's not like we've seen that smirk before. The Washouts Fan Club! I've heard something about this team called the Washouts, but who are they? Are they run by Lightning Dust? Ha! It's no use pretending! I heard everything when I was outside eavesdropping like I do for every meeting. You eavesdrop on every meeting? That's weird. Well, sure it's- No. I mean- Okay. And I probably shouldn't because eavesdropping is wrong, but still. Okay, well, you all know my stance on eavesdropping. I don't actually believe it's wrong. Because if any of you have seen my review on The Breakup Breakdown, you will see that my stance on eavesdropping is very clear. I don't think it's actually wrong. I think it's actually a good way of finding out if people are dishonest with you. I'm just saying, like, I'm a very cautious person after everything I've been through through in my life, but yeah, th that's my stance on it, so I won't cut this anymore. Okay, playing it again. What is, uh, the washout? Only the newest and greatest and only stunt troop in Equestria! Stunt troop? I'm getting sort of a Cars 3 vibe here. Are they basically the MLP equivalent of, uh, Jackson Storm? Boring old flight and formation junk? Are you just repeating everything I say? Only because my brain feels like it's strapped to one of those rockets about to explode. So you do get it! Aren't they all So, missiles or... Okay, maybe she's talking about fireworks, but... Missiles exist in Equestria? <laughs> I'm definitely not worried about her looking up to some pony else. <laughs> nope. Not. At. Oh. Call her out, Applejack. If you were, it'd be like if Apple Bloom started loving bananas more than apples. <laughs> Y'all tell me if that ever happens, you hear? But what could the Washouts <laughs> possibly have that I don't? Wow, they do look pretty amazingly unamazing. <laughs> Trying so hard to look amazing is what I mean. Nice save, Twilight! <laughs> this is gonna be a simple episode about jealousy, isn't it? But then again, I mean, I don't know. I, I haven't seen all of it yet, of course. I'm sorry for making us late. Who would have guessed extreme chocolate air show cupcakes would take an extremely long time to... Those actually look like fire. I mean, yeah, I can believe those take a long time to make because that's very artistic. It actually looks like real fire. Well, within the show, of course. That was a s oddly satisfying sound for some reason. While they're amazingly awesome, the who's on the Who's on the megaphone anyway? I was about I was about to wonder if it was Iron Will or wait a minute, is it Discord or? Nice move, Twilight. Oh. What is she, a cockroach or something? That was insane! Woohoo! I told you! I mean, it was. <laughs> uh, she's, she's pretty much like every brony before they're bronies. <laughs> Join the club. <laughs> okay. That is disturbing. I mean, literally, join the club. We're called the Washouts because we all used to be Wonderbolts just like you. <laughs> oh, he's British. I got booted out of Wonderbolt Academy because of flagrant disregard for hazardous weather. Oh, what? Oh, the... Oh, okay, so this is basically the Rebellion's version of the Wonder... Oh, I see. What's your story? Anger issues, get off my back! Okay, the short one with the anger issues sort of reminds me of Lightning McQueen. That's another Cars reference. Lightning dust. <laughs> I'm Scootaloo. Hi. I hope Scootaloo isn't going to get hurt somehow in this episode. 
because I know Lightning Dust is reckless. Was it wrong of me to endanger the lives of your friends? Yeah. Yes. But hey, now I only endanger these knuckleheads. <laughs> Don't <laughs> call me knucklehead. <laughs> Don't climb the cl What did they say? No. Rolling thunder. Oh no. A while. Ah, during the finale, I caught the old hind leg in the. Oh, Rolling Thunder. Okay, that's his name. Okay. I like the star scar in his eye. Hey, that rhymed. I appreciate the offer, but I'm already a Wonderbolt. I'll do it! Can I do it? Oh no. Now let me think. Oh you no. Going to hear what the actual Wonderbolts think about you joining just to drop out for the washouts. That's good to it's good to hear both sides of the argument. But with enough practice. Practice? Well I do Let me give you a different <laughs> scenario. <laughs> You're probably saying to yourself, I'm young, I'm strong, I'm gonna go out there and- Yeah, you think you're invincible. You're gonna find out it's pretty hard to stunt tricks in a full body wing and hook at bring it through a straw! <laughs> I think she gets the point. <laughs> I'm not finished! Listen, I get a kid. I used to be like you, telling myself, I'm gonna touch- Is this like a boot camp voice or something? No, come on. Let's go rip up all your washout posters into tiny pieces and throw them on- Well, that's a bit extreme, I mean- But can she see how dangerous they are? That's kind of the whole draw. It's exciting. But it's like- Yeah, but- The so they're dangerous, the more she likes them. You can't control her actions, only yours. Teach her what's safe and what isn't, like a good role model. Y yeah, I mean- With this- with this flying scene right here, I'm getting flashbacks to um, testing- testing 1, 2, 3 from season 4. I'd appreciate you helping me find her, so I can apologize for trying to make her quit liking you. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure she still likes us. Oh no, that's what I thought. I'll never be the best of the best or a wonderful, because I can't fly! Is that what you wanted to hear? But not being able to fly doesn't mean I can't do something awesome, like strapping my scooter. Yeah, I, I mean, I know she can't fly, but I mean, the reminder, I mean. Scootaloo, are you sure that's what you really want to do? Absolutely. And there. I'm legitimately scared. You're right. You're your own fool, and you have to make your own decisions. Good. Because I already have. Oh. This is seriously making me reminisce Car Cars 3, I mean, it just has so much similarities to uh, to it, like, to me at least. In just a I am... The newest member of the I'm... I am really scared of seeing what's gonna happen to Scootaloo. Hey, Octavia's in the audience! Wow, well, that um, sure is... Dangerous? Nah. Well, maybe a little. Has any pony tested it before? No. Where's the fun in that? Uh, There's more? You're not thinking of backing out, are you? No! I'm just thinking about drinking through straws. Are you the president of my fan club or not? Light it up! I'm legitimately scared. Oh, okay. No, I it's gonna be like. About it's gonna be pretty much. Too late! It's gonna be pretty much Equestria's equivalent of child endangerment or something. <laughs> I know I was supposed to let you make your own decisions, but that doesn't mean I can't swoop in and save you from time to time. Well, basically what that means is, doesn't mean you don't have to listen to your gut. Rivals for life! <laughs> Wouldn't that I know a fan club that could use some new members? The Rainbow Dash fan club! The Scootaloo <clears throat> one? Welcome to <laughs> I see the poster behind you. Club for the awesomest, previously underappreciated pony in Ponyville. With Pony And for someone who can't fly, this is really noble. I mean, Flight to the Finish was also good for, you know, being noble in this regard, but... Hey, Raymond Dash's parents are here, too! Go Dash was right. Eavesdropping on your own fan club isn't weird at all. Eavesdropping in general is good in general. 
Okay, I have quite the list of thoughts about this episode. You know, after thinking about it before I got the camera rolling for this portion of the video, even after this first viewing, I think I might consider this one of my most favorite episodes of the season. And it's not just because, you know, it made me think of Cars 3, which I honestly like more than 2, but no, that's not the subject of this video, but I'm obviously not able to formulate it perfect as I want right now, but I just really loved the message in this episode. Like, you know, there's a time for respecting people's decisions, their decisions to move on, their decisions to change what they like, and their decision to change their idols or what they want to do, but there's also a time to talk some sense into them, you know, when something is dangerous, and especially in this generation, I... I feel that's what a lot of people fail to see, like, they're all in it for the thrills, they're all in it for dares, you know, they're all forgetting something on film for either a Vine compilation or just some dangerous stunt or something, and they don't realize, you know, the consequences can be either dangerous or even fatal sometimes, and honestly, when, when Skulu was strapped to that rocket, I mean, I, okay, in the back of my head, I also had no fear because it's MLP, they're not gonna show dead or wounded children, right? But just the fact that <sighs> Lightning Dust, I got quite a lot of lot to say about her, but when she was strapped to those rockets, I mean, I like some of you may have heard me stuttering during that part, but it was because I was legitimately scared. I was thinking this might actually be even maybe this is I, I might say this is. You know what this is? I seriously think this is probably one of the... That was probably one of the darkest moments in all of MLP. Like, you know, obviously it didn't happen, but just the fact that Lightning Dust would even be okay with doing something like this. I mean, and and Skulu, you know, you know, at first wanting to do it, but, you know, you could sense the fear in her voice, you know, and she was being pressured as if Lightning Dust was an abusive girlfriend or boyfriend. You know, you, you see the similarity I'm talking about, but still, I mean, that... And here's a fact about me, when it comes to not just MLP, but movies or other shows I like in general, I like it when they have darkness in them, because, I, I don't know, maybe there's a word, maybe there's a term for people like me who like that kind of stuff, but honestly, I, I like it when anything, not just MLP, when anything has a good sense of darkness to it, because it can really help to convey a message well, or, I don't know, maybe it just has something to do with closure, I don't know. Maybe I'll do some internet searching, see if there's a term for people like me, like something obia or something, or whatever, some sort of medical term. But, um, but yeah, I mean, okay, I know I'm repeating myself at this point, but seriously, and, okay, I'll get to my thoughts on the lightning dust. I thought, okay, maybe, maybe not everybody is Starlight Glimmer, but... Obviously, Lightning Dust isn't reformed. She's literally sent far away shooting off into the sky. And for somebody like her, for someone who just became even more of an antagonist, that was definitely a satisfying send-off for a now bigger antagonist, <laughs> Lightning Dust. But still, I mean, I, I don't know if this is the last time we're ever gonna see her in the series or something, or maybe she'll come back or something, but, I mean, this was extremely unforgivable. I mean, and again, it was, it was dark, even for MLP's record, but, I mean, like I said, I like a good amount of darkness, and this is no exception. But, anyway, getting out of all that disturbing and gloomy stuff, as I mentioned, like, three times... Hey, three. Cars three. And I mentioned Cars three three times. <laughs> I just realized that. But Lightning Dust, honestly, in this episode, to me, sort of felt like the... Well, not just Lightning Dust, the washouts are ba were basically the equivalent of uh, Jackson Storm and Cars three. And what I mean by that was, you know, Rainbow Dash sort of felt a bit like Lightning McQueen. Like, you know, she feels, you know, jealousy and, you know, she wants to, you know, prove that she's still better, but, you know, over time she learns that she has to respect the decisions of others, but only in this one it was a bit different, like, you know, Jackson Storm did absolutely nothing as, okay, nothing as unforgivable as Lightning Dust, like, all Jackson Storm really does at the end of Cars 3 is, is just ram Cruz Ramirez into the wall and sort of scrape her against it, but... Honestly, I mean, that was just some competitive violence to be, but, I mean, this was outright, like, 
full endangerment. I mean, okay, I'm not going to repeat this, but you know what I mean. Like, you know, like, I do see a similarity between Lightning Dust and Jackson Storm, you know, in this episode. Like, just for me personally, but, you know, only in the end it was definitely different in terms of how much... I mean, I don't even think Jackson... In my personal opinion, okay, this is something I'm going to state whenever I review Cars 3 someday because I do have a physical copy. But, um, Jackson Storm, to me is not an antagonist at all. Yeah, he's a bit of an arrogant jerk, but I mean, that's all he is. He's just an arrogant jerk. I mean, that's it. He's just, the fact is, he's just a newer race car that can just go faster because I'm, he's a more high-tech car. I mean, it's just a fact. But I'm not here to talk about cars, but, um, this episode does have a good little message about, you know, jealousy and everything, but I like how it also blends in with, with a lesson about, you know, there's a time to listen to your gut. Like, you know, even though the person, the opposite person making the decision you don't want them to keeps insisting, I want to do that. Stop, stop stopping me from doing this. I'm young. I'm invincible. Or I'm just any person, and no matter what age, and I'm invincible. Like, nothing's gonna happen to me, but there is a time to, and this, with me, it's absolutely no exception, because I'm one of those people in the world who believe that things like faith and trust are something we should exercise as minimally in life as possible because of how dangerous it is. It just sort of comes with being an atheist, but um, not even. But even when you take the religious aspect out of it, I don't even. I don't think trust or faith is good at all. And I'm definitely one of those people out there who encourage, if your gut says there is something wrong, then do not ignore it. You know, as much as people may get annoyed with you, it's always better to be safe than sorry. And here's another similarity I have, sort of personally have, with the washouts in Jackson Storm. I'm, I, I'm, well, I mean, I mean, I guess the rest of the team also has the same motivations as Lightning Dust. I mean, if this line says anything. I got booted out of Wonderbolt Academy because of flagrant disregard for hazardous weather. However, you know, <laughs> especially the short guy, I found them both funny and, you know, I like that, uh, Thunder something guy, the, the the dark purple blue guy with the British accent, you know, like, what I find the similarity, what I mean by similarity between the washouts and Jackson Storm is, you know, despite Jackson Storm being, you know, an arrogant jerk and everything, and, you know, him being one of the high-tech cars that'll, you know, replace Lightning McQueen, you know, I found him cool, you know, I, I found a lot to like about him, he had a nice design, you know, his voice was deep and everything, and, like I said, I like the, the Thunder guy, uh, I'll, Okay, I'm gonna go back and check what his name is. Rolling Thunder, that's his name. But yeah, with Rolling Thunder, like I, I, I liked him because you know British is honestly is honestly one of my most favorite accents, and he has an interesting design. You know, sort of reminds me of Tempest, and you know it's just because of how tall he is. But and like I said, the short one with the anger issue sort of reminds me of Lightning McQueen. Well, because he looks like Lightning McQueen in terms of color scheme. <laughs> okay, for real this time. I am going to try to stay on topic and stop referencing Cars 3. <laughs> when it all comes down to it, it's like I said before, this might actually be one of my most favorite episodes of the season. Because, you know, it had a great amount of darkness, you know, had a really good message that you know, even I can relate to as I as I told you. And, and, yeah, I mean, the washouts, I mean, <laughs> despite them being filled with, you know, reckless antagonists and <sighs> lightning dust, you endangered a... Okay, I'm so I really cannot get this out of my head, but um, but <laughs> yeah, but I mean, there was just so much for me personally. There was just so much to like about this episode, and you know, other people may think differently, but eh, that's 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 how it always happens. But again, absolutely loved this episode, and I more than likely might actually see myself giving it a blue ten if I choose to review it sometime. But anyways, that was my reaction to MLP season eight, episode twenty, the washouts. I hope you all enjoyed it. My name is Frostcloud. You have a wonderful day. Broha.